All right. <coughs> um, hello. Welcome to the uh, Zoom talk. Hello. Nice to see you. Hello. Um, maybe just as a quick reminder, the talk today um, will be recorded again. So at least the audio, uh, you won't be seen, just, uh, just that you know. Um, of course, uh, you are free to ask questions um, and also write in the chat, of course. Um, yes. Um, so, apart from that, there aren't any really important things, there are no real reminders, because there isn't anything which anyone needs to be reminded of. <laughs> what happens, what apparently happens, is just naturally itself. It's naturally whole and complete. It's not wholeness or completion is not a circumstance that need to be remembered or that needs to be known stuff like that that would be a part of the dream of a person like ah yeah for god it's whole actually the person wants to know that the person thinks that in knowing that information it can find rest and peace so to speak that's the hope but all of that, on the one hand, doesn't work at all, but on the other hand, it's just not needed. Because this whole idea of an additional arriving, this whole idea of me coming to rest, consciously, so to speak, as a conscious experience, me coming to rest, is part of the dream. It's an idea. It's not needed in that sense that the person comes to rest because the person being on a path is an illusion. There isn't anyone on a path. That's why this whole attempts to be still or come to rest or end the search never really function because there isn't anyone there in the first place who is seeking. So in that sense, what, what this message doesn't try to do is to kill the seeker or to end the seeking desperately with, with methods and techniques and stuff. What this points to apparently for no real reason is there is no seeker. There isn't anything like a seeker in the first place. And there isn't anyone who has found also. This just seeking and finding, so to speak, in that sense would be just two sides of the coin, would be all part of a dreamt setup. No one is seeking, no one has lost anything, and no one needs to find anything. No one ever has, no one ever found anything, except in the dream, so to speak, except as an assumed state, if you want so. Seen, seen from the person what we talk about, or seen from the person liberation just point, see, it looks like death. It just looks like the death of my own presence. But in the end, even that idea of a me and a me dying, so to speak, only takes place within the dream of there being someone. There isn't anyone. There is no presence. There's no absence. There's no life as such. And there is no death. It's just this. It's just wholeness. It's this. Blindly, which is blindly itself. Without any need and possibility for an additional realization. That's, so to speak, why this is not a teaching. What we talk about cannot be taught because what we what we talk about so to speak is already happening it is sitting in front of a screen it is being you it's being me it's thoughts feelings the rooms we are sitting in so to speak that's wholeness unreachable because it already is ungraspable because it's no thing 
It's not something that could be grasped, totality, wholeness, stuff like that. There's also no approach to what apparently happens. This is not an approach. Mm. Someone wrote in the <coughs> chat, hello. It was just hello. Hi Andreas. Yes. Good day. Um, I just wanted to say like, or to ask maybe, I don't know, um, that uh, awareness and the mind, it's like it all exists in the dream, right? Yes, one could say so. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. 
so once there is when there is no self anymore i mean the illusory self when it's not there anymore yes there is no awareness and there is no mind either yeah one could say so i mean you know it's hard to say because the thing is there is functioning so there is apparent awareness and thinking so to speak but it's not that there is someone who experiences a mind or who experiences to be aware so what there is is unknowable in the end yeah. it would be only the person so to speak which identifies a mind to be something which is real Does Andreas have anything to do with mind? Who? Andrea? <laughs> Who's that? No. <laughs> no, it, exactly. The, the, no. No. In that sense, Andreas or the apparent appearance of Andreas doesn't have to do anything with anything because it is what apparently happens. It's whole. It's wholeness. It's not that it really has anything to do with something else. No. I saw, sometimes it happens to me that uh, when I look at things that I just don't really know what I'm looking at and then suddenly I have that kind of voice like go back to it, like recognize it. I don't know if it's a, this is what means it unknowable. Like I can look at things, whatever it is, I don't know, a situation and then it's like, like there's no sense of knowing what it is. And then suddenly I have this voice like, go back to it, like, come on, get back. So, uh, yeah, probably I would say that in this, in this moment, so to speak, there just isn't anyone there. And then the yeah. moment you are back, the whole game of knowing, experiencing and knowing and yeah. recognizing starts again. But you, of course, you can't go back there. Yeah, right. But there is a voice there. like, there, there is still voice like go back because you have to recognize it. You have to know what it is. Like I could go, I, like I would look at this coffee machine, and suddenly it's like as if I mean the coffee machine is still there, but as if there is nothing there. Oh yeah, and it I, is nothing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I said like, go back because yeah, I ha I have to recognize what it is. So mm, this right, is a yeah. little bit this is a little bit the unknowable. Like it's, sometimes you don't really know what you're looking at. Like. Do you ask me if I know that? No, no, if this, if this is the unknowable, when you say it's unknowable in a way... Oh, yes, exactly, yes. yes. That's the... One could say so, yes. One could say so. When there's no experience of anything. Right. Then everything just is what it is, but it's unknowable. Right. Okay. I just wanted to hear you saying something. Yes, yeah, one could say so, yeah. 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 Because or, when you no, say... Because when you say it's unknowable sometimes, in the past time I used to try to understand what that is, unknowable, and it is not, you can't know it. You yes, really exactly. Know it. It's, it uh, means literally unknowable. Yeah. yeah. What is, is unknowable. And right. this sentence is not knowable as well. Yeah. Right. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And this is why I started about the mind, because the mind is all about to want to understand and need to know what it is. It's so different, it's a different process. Yes, exactly. Yes. Or the separate person would like to use the mind, so to speak, or it would like to use thinking in order to know how it actually is, in order to come to truth, so to speak. Right. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, question in the chat. This message seems to be totally opposite to what people have learned and grown up. That is why not popular and no interest in this. Furthermore, this doesn't provide anything <laughs> which cannot attract people. Total nonsense to normal people. I mean, so-called normal. Yes, exactly. There aren't normal people. There aren't people. Um, Yes, of course. It's not really opposite of what people have learned. It just contradicts the personal experience. And yes, most people, so to speak, seem to experience themselves as someone. So it's just contradicting their experience. Absolutely. 
And of course, as the me, so to speak, as people who think that they are someone, seek for something, this, is, this isn't attractive or interesting. Because as I say, it doesn't provide anything. It doesn't provide anything for the seeker at all. So yeah. And yes, seen and seen from the seeker, this this can be seen as many things, like a total abstract high philosophy, or some people would call it the highest truth or stuff like that. Um, but other people would say that it's, it's just nonsense. It's just blah blah well weird stuff like that yeah but yes the seeker some way has to push it away and turn it into whatever truth or nonsense or stuff like that hmm. yeah i mean the seeker's experience is presence and this is saying there isn't anyone that's the basic contradiction, which is not an which is not an intellectual in contradiction. It's a it's an, an energetic contradiction, because the the sense of presence is a felt. It's an energetic felt experience. It's an experiential contradiction. Question: So there are no people, world, etc. Then what is there? Oh, there isn't anything there. There is that question, so to speak, remains unanswered. Because you would already need someone who could have a look. So, and exactly that which has a look is the dream. But it's the person, know, the person knowing. Okay, mm -hmm. there are no people. There is no world, but. What's there then? Let's have a look. Let's feel inside. Let's be aware and have a look. What, what, what is real? But what's being said here is that it's exactly that which has a look, which could have a look, is illusory. And that would be the only thing also which has an experience of existence, which has an experience of I am. There is something. But even that's unknowable, if there is something or not. It's unknowable if sitting in front of a screen is happening or not. It would only be known by the dream. And the dream would always say, oh yeah, of course it's happening, I'm aware of it. <laughs> okay. the strangest conclusion of your message is that nobody and nothing really knows of his its existence even god doesn't know he exists Yes, so to speak, yes. It's a blind, it's blind, it's all blind. There is no knowledge of anything, of any kind, so to speak, yeah. But of course it's an apparent conclusion, or one could say the conclusion is, it doesn't, it's not, um, it doesn't provide an advantage, so to speak. Yes, existence is illusory, and every knowledge about existence is illusory as well. Yeah, but it doesn't matter. That's the, that's the good news. Yes, yes, it's. Uh, I shouldn't say that. Uh, yes, it's good news. 
thanks God. Yeah, absolutely. <clears throat> Okay, a question. All objects are apparent, but can it be said the experience itself is real? Like watching a movie, one feels even knowing it's a fake. And in a dream, one experiences even though everything is dream stuff. The only constant through it is experience. Well, no, I, not, I mean, you can say anything you want, but um, what's being said here is that exactly that constant is the dream. It's not constant at all. Um, what you describe actually is the personal experience, which only knows itself. So the, per or the person knows is I'm real and everything that I'm aware of, so to speak, I don't really know about. It comes and goes. I can understand that all my knowledge are stories and but it's the personal experience. I'm real, I'm constant and everything else is a bit mm. but it's somehow there but I don't know about it. But in the end it's exactly experiencing which isn't real at all and it's also not constant. It seems constant. That's the weird thing about it. Because the moment when it happens, it feels solid. The moment the person arises, it feels as if I was there all the time. But it just isn't. It, it's, not, it's neither there all the time, nor is it real actually when it happens, one could say. But as I say, part of the experience of experiencing is it's real and it's happening. And it's kind of always there. That's the person's impression. Since I'm born, I'm somehow there. Though there was deep sleep and moments of unconsciousness and all kinds of stuff. But in the person's experience, they aren't regarded as all. They somehow exist as intellectual knowledge, but they don't play any role. And the feeling of the person is, I am. I'm constantly there and aware and experiencing. That's the dream. Exactly that reality is the dream. And the, the, the so to speak, the deepest, well, it's not, it's not really deep, but one could say that the only conclusion the person can come to is I'm real and everything else is an appearance. That's, that's an awareness teaching. I'm awareness, I'm eternal, and everything else is just appearance but that's another dreamt experience so i would i wouldn't exactly say that because the experience is a dream is the dreamt reality nothing else is is dreamt Andreas? Yes. Uh, it seems like that the continuity of thoughts, that like linking all the thoughts together, create like, like the stories continue, like there is this past where I can look at, it's like when you think about it all the time, it feels like there is this continuity to everything and that everything feels very real. Yeah, but only for the seeker, because, <laughs> because the, the person is the sense of continuity. Yeah. Right, yes. Thoughts don't continue really. There is no continuity in in this apparent happening. It's just the experience of the seeker which would add the dream of continuity to everything. Right, that's what I mean. Like so when you look back, when a seeker looks back and he thinks about what happened yesterday, one month ago, one year ago, it feels like the whole story is very real. It's like it really happened and it's still a sort of uh, like it feels like it's not like as you say like uh, like there's only what's happening you say like there's only what's happening so it's you don't say like say it's happening now it's not about happening now it's just happening when, when I look at, the, at my story or like what I like when the past always keep coming back it all this is like part of the dream reality it feels like very real very like I am in this story 
and in the story of the film. Yes, but seen from the person, everything feels real. Right. So also being in the moment feels real yeah, and right. not thinking feels real. So the person would just confirm itself in anything. But yes, also in thinking about its story and think, remembering the past and knowing the past and assuming that I know the past because I was all already there when it, I was there when it happened and stuff like that. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm just playing a little bit. Could, could this sound like uh, when you say there is only what's happening? So it's like imagine like every time there's like this is what's happening and this is what's happening. It would be like a screenshot, like a, like, a, like a screenshot of what's happening, but without any any time frame. So it's like as a process or it's just no, like No, because the screenshot is the process. Okay. Because what's happening is totally unknowable. There isn't any anyone becoming aware of that. No, I understand. But if, if you could take like a screenshot, it would be like only the screenshot, not the one before and not the one after, without time, without any time. It would, it would be just like this, all the yeah. time. Yeah. Well, this would be here now. This would yeah, be no, not. It's not, it's not <laughs> what I mean. I know, I know, yeah. <laughs> I know, but it's not what I mean. It's just very difficult to put it in words. Like, yeah. it's only the screenshot, that's it. Yeah, each there time, is... Okay. I would say each time again, but I don't mean it. I don't mean like each time again. It would be, yeah, it's there is timeless screenshotting. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. It's difficult to put it in words, but I understand it's all about time and the process. And, yeah. But it, the construct is so strong, the construct around it. Like. Well, the thing is, the moment there is a sense of I am, there's just a personal experience running, and that's inevitable. There isn't anyone who can do anything about yeah. them. The person also can't really see through itself or be half aware and half right. half dreaming and half whatever. It's yeah, just yeah, yeah, yeah. the moment there is someone, there will be the sense of reality and yeah. this will be confirmed in anything the person does or believes to do. I was just having fun with the screenshot anyway. <laughs> Sorry, again? I was just having fun with the screenshots, like if it was a screenshot, there was only this screenshot and, the, and that's it. Yes, but uh, yes, okay. Yeah. Not as a process, but anyway. Yeah. <laughs> this message seems to make me empty my bookshelves <laughs> so-called self-help books and Osho books as well all of them yeah I know it's one doesn't really know what to do with them yeah I know because you don't really want to give them someone else as a gift you uh, throwing away i don't know yeah they look nice in a way yeah i know yeah <laughs> for <laughs> yeah. fortunately i have a kid so three quarter quarters of our books are just children books now in our living room <laughs> I returned these books uh, to the bookstore when I bought them. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what did you say? Ah, sorry, those books didn't hold what they promised. 
they promised enlightenment and stuff, but it wasn't in there. <laughs> exactly, yeah. <laughs> All I found were dreams and stories and delusion. Well, yeah, I'm sorry. <clears throat> Science fiction. Or only fiction. Yes, good morning. Morning. Good day. Um, so uh, some days ago I was telling uh, some people about non-duality or what I could anyway. And one of these women told me, well, I don't need you to tell me about these things. I need you to help me with uh, my suffering with uh, my husband. Yeah. So all these books about self-help you know, yeah. or ther therapies, even therapies or psychologies, or all that. So uh, it's like a, a discard all of that because anything that happens is anyway going to happen or they do work because like it, it, they seem to work when someone has a a problem and is being solved through that uh, particular therapy or something a book uh, they seem to work so it's just a seeming happening exactly yet, yet it was like the book was there because someone wrote it and uh, the moment for the person to come to that book was it happened so in a sense, everything is happening anyway. Yeah. Even books and self-help and oh, well, right? even even feeling separate and dreaming to need to be helped. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Oh, there's nothing wrong with anything, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, would you say that if everybody was uh, enlightened or without a me, uh, no one would be writing books or no one would be needing help or? <laughs> Well, it's pure speculations, but probably this whole big shelf, spirituality, religion, philosophy in the bookshops will just be closed, yeah. Just over. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> but you not said because, that... Not because it's wrong, but that just wouldn't be there anymore needing it, right. or living in yeah. the dream of needing it. It's not bad or wrong or anything, not at all. Yeah. It's wholeness. It's, not... it's wholeness is that, but it seems to come out of a personal energy which need which believes that it needs to be helped on a personal level. That's all. It's a, that's not wrong. All of that isn't wrong. No, but no, no. it's part of a dream. It's part of the dream. It's part of a dream that there is someone in the first place. Yeah. It's like your friend. That's that's the person saying in a way. The person is saying, Ah yeah, I know everything is absolute love and absolute freedom, but 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 who helps me with my suffering? Yeah. All right. Oh you, oh, you, you froze I, I missed that that part. No, ah, that was well, it's like the person saying, yeah, I've heard that before. Everything is absolute love and absolute freedom, but I don't really care because I want to help with my suffering. All right. So does, an, does uh, the apparent you ever has the, the um, I don't know how to call it, perception or knowing about that there is an Andrea in the movie? Uh, I mean, no. I, I call it in the dream. Uh, being Andrea? No, because being Andreas is what apparently happens. It's real and unreal. It's not the dream. The dream would be the experience that there is someone in here which is Andreas and only Andreas. No, Andreas is what apparently happens as well as you and the screen and the weather that's happening and the rooms we are sitting in. This is not a dream. That's just the natural reality. So I'm not in a dream. I'm just what apparently happens. This is and not you, a dream. When you say it, I am just what apparently happened, who is saying that? Or oh, what is it? It doesn't come from anywhere. It's an apparent report. 
but it's not coming from a center. It's not coming from someone who is aware of it. Mm. That would be the dream. The assumption that there is a center in here, which I really am in separation mm. to everything else. But that's not there. That's a dream. That's the dream. But me sitting here and speaking and you sitting there and speaking and thinking just is wholeness or is whole and complete. It's unknowable, it's unexperienced. But it's not that this is a dream. It's just what happens. It's natural <laughs> and simple and ordinary and whole and complete at the same time. Mm -hmm. So there isn't anything here which knows I'm a dream, uh, I'm in the dream, or I'm out of the dream, or there isn't, there is no one. All that's not known, of course, because there, there isn't anyone who could know. And what's left, so to speak, is just this, which is real and unreal, or neither of both. I don't know. I don't even know. <laughs> that's okay. all. Thank you. Thank you. Question. Maybe the looking for help creates the therapist. <laughs> well, it seems to create a lot. It, it seems to have created thousands, thousands of years of religion. <laughs> Therapy is just the, the latest, the latest one. But it, no, well, it, see, it's all not wrong, but yes, and the seeker creates the guru. Oh, yes, of course. It's just the person, the personal experience, which believes itself to be separate in the world and trying to need, and, and, and the assumption that it needs answers, that it needs to know why. Why am I suffering? Why am I separate? What's the right path to become whole again? And then some people, I don't know, they meditated for hours and felt relief for five minutes. And then they said, hey, well, I maybe have an idea. Maybe we could all do that. And someone else says, well, have an inner dialogue, pray to God inside. And suddenly there was a relief. And then those people said, yeah, well, maybe this sounds good. This, this maybe is a way to become whole again. And that's all in the personal world and it's okay but it's a completely dreamed reality and then some people say yeah maybe if we become absent okay so let's work on that and then they start to work on that to kill the ego and to whatever <laughs> But of course, it's all in that sense, apparently, apparently, it's all coming out of the sense that there is someone in the first place who somehow needs to answer the actual experience, who somehow longs for an additional realization, because what, seem, what is experienced seems to be unfulfilling. But it would be like uh, <clears throat> two parallel things, like the dream, uh, the, the illusion of the me that creates all of this stuff and the apparent. apparent reality happening at the same time. Yeah, one could say so, because, because in the end, it's not really the me doing that. It's just what apparently happens, that a big amount of people believe themselves to be someone. So it's both. It seems to come out of the person, but it is what apparently happens. Right. So if it seems to come out of the person, <laughs> and in reality, in, in truth or whatever, it's apparently happening. Yes. So all the books, all the gurus, it's all apparently happening. And the person believes that had created them, but in truth, it's only apparently happening. Yes, the person thinks that everything is real and needed and has an intention that I'm real, that the gurus are real, that my suffering is real, that the enlightenment that they promise is real. 
and that we are really on a path towards there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and, it, and it assumes that itself is something that had been created in the end, <laughs> well, in the end by other me's, which are called mother and father. <laughs> but that's enough. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Hmm. Andreas, I was going to ask you, did you, did it seem like there was a change in like, as far as like external, like action, like, like, uh, was there less self-centered like activity? Um, you know what I mean? Like, was there le less like, um, I don't want to say ego, but yeah, like self-centered actions towards like getting somewhere, like when that experience happened? Well, one could say when the person dropped, the seeking in actions stopped, and it seemed to be that action, some actions also dropped away. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because like I was, I was wondering gurus, if it, for example. Yeah. I was wondering if it, like, if I was actually tricking myself into thinking that, that there was less self-centered activity, or maybe it was just the feeling that, since there wasn't actual like there wasn't anybody here like because things still go on like regular you still have to earn money to survive exactly like in the end in the so end kind of like so at, before the shift it's like, like it 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 feels like you're doing it for a me and then after the shift it just feels like it's happening yeah exactly so it's it's both in a way because right. seen from the person everything's are self-centered actions because everything that's being done is experienced as i do it because of or it happened to me because of a bigger plan or something and yes that turns out to be a complete illusion that inter that behind actors so oh, that was german and uh, that behind actions there is a center which which does them right so it's not really predictable which actions drop away and which just stay but for example if you seek in in gurus for example or reading spiritual books this might drop when there is no need anymore to do that but on the other hand it was just part of part of the dream of a person that i'm going to the fridge in order to have breakfast it was it was never self-centered it just was what apparently happened and the dream that i do it in order to survive was just attached to it <laughs> Yeah. In that sense, yeah. actions are never really self-centered. Right. Yeah, that's that's really that's pretty wild. Wow. <laughs> oh yeah, it's totally wild, of course. <laughs> because it's unpredictable. I mean, it seems, yeah. I, I don't know why that just kind of like came up and I was like, oh, that's a weird thought. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Of course, it's it's part of the dream that I'm doing things in order to get something back from them. Okay, uh, question. Me can stop itself from striving to better its life as long as it exists, illusion or otherwise? Oh yes, of course, because me is the striving, so to speak. You can't really separate seeking from the me. You will never you will never get an enlightened me or a me which isn't seeking to some to some extent so yes experiencing oneself as someone means to seek so to speak which is wholeness absolutely so all that me knows so to speak is itself which means all it knows is the dream I am experiencing. The person will never go beyond that. It, it would be just death. Every going beyond that would just be death, so to speak, in the story. The death of the person. Question. Do you still have the sense of the, of the hierarchy of importance? No. 
For example, to do this is more important than to do other things. This information is more important than the others. No, no, I don't, no. No, I mean, in, in functioning, so to speak, those things just naturally happen, so to speak. But there is no sense of hierarchy that anything is more important than something else. Like walking down the stairs is less important than whatever, <laughs> bad example. I don't know. No, nothing is more or less important than anything else. Yeah. And no one is more or less important than anyone else, of course. It's just what apparently happens. Okay, question. Hi, Andreas. I feel that doing things for a peace of mind, like listening to music or even therapy, is intelligent. It's exactly like eating when you are hungry. I, for example, don't do it to gain enlightenment. I know I bring this subject a lot, but it's because it's important for me to not misinterpret your words. Also, thanks for being patient with me. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, the thing is, this is not an either or thing. I mean, this is not like you're not allowed to do therapy because there is no one. It's not an intellectual thing. And yes, if therapy is what apparently happens, that's what apparently happens. Absolutely. But of course, in the end, what this says is that there is no real person and that all that the person seeks, peace of mind and that stuff. That they are just happening within the dream. I mean, there's nothing wrong with listening to a certain kind of music or to do a therapy, but the dream would be that there is anyone who needs to do that. But of course, seen from the person, that's, that's the person's experience is I'm here and as I'm here, I gotta do something. And of course the person can understand, but it's also, I mean, for me in, in the story, it's also those little things. I mean, it's just the person assuming to be consciously responsible for feeling good. And of course the person can, can, can seek in this one big thing, enlightenment, but what usually happens is that it works itself through the day. A little bit peace of mind here, a little bit awareness here, and um, uh, being polite to the neighbors, and a little bit of earning money, and a little bit of eating more healthy. And but seen from the person, that's all things where I'm needed, where I have to be there and do that. And there's nothing wrong with that, but it's a dream. It's just a dreamt reality. But of course, there's nothing wrong with calming the mind. But on the other hand, I would say the prison is the one who thinks that he, he or she needs a calm mind. It's just a dream. It's an illusion that you need a calm mind, that, that this certain state offers a benefit for you, for the seeker. It's a dream in that sense. This is what this message points to but not in order to convince anyone. There isn't anyone anyway, so. And it's everything happening by itself anyway, including the sense of me or not, it doesn't matter. So I don't wanna, in that sense, I'm, I'm not trying to create an opponent or an opposite. I'm not trying to create, there is no right or wrong path. But, there isn't anyone. Yes, exactly. My long run. Oh, I shouldn't say the name. Well, chaos doesn't mind itself at all. Oh, yes, absolutely. It doesn't even know itself. That's, that's how chaotic it actually is. <laughs> the chaos doesn't even regard itself as chaotic. <laughs> chaos? Well, I don't see it. <clears throat> okay.
Yeah. I mean, the surprise is in the, I mean, surprise, I know there isn't anyone, but the surprise is in the end that it's just already all whole and complete. And that this need to answer it, this need to create states of peace, of clarity, of knowledge, it's all right, but it's just circling around within the dream. Namely that there are such things. question so chaos is real and order unreal no it's both real and unreal that's the chaos in a way nothing is real but it's not chaos and order because there aren't things anyway Andreas? yes hi can can your mind be still noisy at times or like worrying about stuff or that can still be going on oh yeah of course yeah. Laying down in bed at night, one hour just sort of can still happen, like thinking and. Oh, an hour? I don't. <laughs> <laughs> okay, ten minutes, 10 minutes. That's a bit extreme, I would say, to call it an hour. But no. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> of course, why not? Yeah, or just worrying or like a little anxiety that can happen to you. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, I recently I was, yeah, well, yeah, yeah, yeah of course. Why not? Yeah. Well, okay, fair enough. <laughs> yeah, I was well, I was a bit worried recently because my son was supposed to sleep over with a friend and they were wanted to sleep in in the garden in the tent, but the weather forecast said it was raining. And I was worried the whole evening actually. Yeah. With breaks in between, but <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's what apparently happens. <laughs> Still, still being a human human being well in the end there is nothing else of course yeah. being human obviously is what apparently happens and yeah. as far as i know there wasn't anyone being able to escape from that well. <laughs> okay, it's really interesting to hear that you're worried about rain i mean I mean, it was a well. well it, no, I was worried. Well, it was the whole thing I was worried about. <laughs> the, <laughs> the poor boys came. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm <laughs> but I like the topic of chaos, and I mean, chaos is an idea. Yeah, like it is order. Yeah, like yeah, like everything else. But um, no, also like order. Yeah. It's just the opposite. There is no real yeah. order. But yeah, but somehow you say f functioning is happening and functioning... Apparently. Apparently. This functioning is a kind of order, you could say. Yeah, but as I say, I mean, it's a story that there is functioning happening. I know it sounds a bit mechanical and robotic, but in the end, it's what apparently happens. And it's very human, as humans seem to function, which is also both. <laughs> there seems to be order to a certain extent, but on the other way, humans are also kind of unpredictable. So it's both again. Yeah, but I mean, we could also say, you know, um, I don't know the word in English so good, like the uh, biological order of, you know, nature is what apparently happens this is the kind of a functioning you know things are growing and fall down and die or whatever it's kind of this is how it's functioning yeah kind of apparently but even if you go in the story they have to they have to um i mean cells for example they seem to function but every now and then there can be mutations which are totally unpredictable yes. so but this is within the story now but no, it's both. It's chaos and order. It's real and unreal. It's not predictable. This is, this is the label. We, you know, there's the label, and then without the label, what, what is it? <laughs> you know? That's the thing. Yeah. 
but it's not only the label in the end it's without even experiencing anything happening so the person somehow would always claim some kind of order by by saying i'm real by trying to find one answer and by experiencing itself as i'm real i'm here that's the least thing i can say but i'm very certain about that that's kind of already trying to to create some kind of order I mean, simple things like day and night and, you know, winter, summer, these kind of things. It's like labels and what is really, you know, it's dark, it's light. It's just like, uh, you know, this is perception and immediate things. Yes. That's the thing. It's not really the labeling. The labeling is a symptom, but it's coming from experiencing it at first, so to speak perceiving light and dark and then adding a story to it and then having so it would not be dark and light without the personal perception well no one knows that it no. would apparently be night and dark but for no one, no one. Yeah. So there wouldn't be anyone knowing that oh now it's light mm. and five hours later saying oh now it's dark that's and also not knowing these repetitions. Oh yes, exactly. Yes, the person would exactly the person would assume there is a continuation, continuation, uh, whatever yeah. you know, and um, and it, it thinks that it knows everything. Yeah. It's all knowing. Well, yesterday it was dark. I was there and saw it. Today it's bright again. Tomorrow it's dark again. And I know that because I've been there all the time. So when you go to bed in the evening, yes, you don't expect to wake up in the morning. Well, in that sense, I don't go. I don't go to bed in the evening because I died already. There isn't the experience of now I go to bed and tomorrow morning I'll be there again. <laughs> no, that's over. Yeah. <laughs> that that was when I lived. Yeah. But I also don't expect to not wake up again. You know, there's just no me which which lives in that story or in that experience in the end. I, I mean, also no one who is surprised that you wake up again. <laughs> oh, no, of course, because I'm not waking up again. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds a bit weird, I know. But. This is, but I think this is what you mean with functioning isn't it all these things when you say functioning is, is uh, apparently happening what apparently happens yes yeah which the, which the person would would um, regard even functioning as personal so to speak going up having breakfast thinking what what do i do today what's the plan which whatever happens the person would take this personal or think that it has anything to do with the presence of me but mm -hmm. uh, when there is no one a whole lot of apparently personal things just stay they were just wrongly assumed to come from the me but they are just what happens they don't need self-awareness like opening the eyes and get out of bed and Go to work. When I ask you about your character, do you have a sense about your personal character? No, not at all. No, no. Not a single bit. The, it's a dream. That there is a real character is a dream. I might give you some very superficial information like... I mean, certain preferences. Oh, but those are unknown. No, those are unknown. No, this is because this would also normally be like continuously, you know, somebody says, I'm like this and this. Oh, yes. The person loves that to know how, how it is yeah. and it carries those claims around. Yeah, yeah. I don't like this. I like that. I always like that. And that's who I am. And that's how I am. Yeah. Oh, no. That's so this is not fixed anymore, you could say. Yeah maybe maybe i am exactly like that i don't know this would just be what apparently happens 
and not because there is a real character who is like that. Maybe I, maybe I, from now on, every day I would prefer the same action. I don't know, but it would just be what apparently happens, and not because there is something real or fixed at all. Even the character. That's why I also mean it's apparent functioning. It's not that there is functioning going on, and then you have a real character which is empty or for me, but is real. Not really. Mm. because I am how I am just is what apparently happens even if it's the same every day from now on yeah, yeah, yeah. but you remember what you were when, what you were eating yesterday and the day before and the day before or this is also if it is what apparently happens yes not because there is someone able to do it mm -hmm. yeah. yeah but yes if it is what happens, then, oh, of course, I can tell you how I feel. I can tell you what I had to eat, but not because there is someone able to do that. Unpredictable, totally unpredictable and not knowable. Yes, totally unpredictable, not knowable, much more ordinary than it sounds because it's exactly this. But yes, it's not knowable. There isn't anything in there which knows who I am, how I am, why I do that. Not a single bit. I mean, and planning, planning also seems like, you know, we look at the time next month or whatever, we, we book something. So this is just, it happens or it doesn't. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Oh yes. Yeah. I mean, in the last few years, so to speak, last two or three years, I had a schedule I never planned in my life so far into the future. I never had that. Now I look in my calendar, and there are even events for next year and stuff like that. Oh, it's empty. It's what apparently happens. It doesn't mean anything and it's empty. Yeah. And it also doesn't mean that it will be like this, actually. Oh, not at all, of course. Not, not all. only because of Corona. But yeah, yeah, yeah. It is just... Uh... Yeah, it doesn't mean anything. It just is what apparently happens to have the schedule and next year and whatever. Yeah. 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 And there is no, in that sense, there is also no expectation. I mean, the person, again, would just assume fulfillment, for example, if it works out or yeah. It, yeah. It assume fulfillment then in the future. That's not happening because to, uh, to plan for next year is whole. That's it. That's life. So that's apparent life, so to speak. It's already whole and complete. It doesn't need the plan to work out in order to be okay. The plan, <laughs> seen from the person, the planning was all was only okay if it also works out in the end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and it's it, it's it doesn't matter how it goes that's the whole plan so to speak. absolutely oh it doesn't matter at all yeah even feeling bad about things not working out is what apparently happens it yeah. would be whole and complete so yeah. of course it completely or doesn't or anything yeah 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 so cool <laughs> 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 it's the natural reality. It already is like that. It's not something that someone still has to get. No, it already is like that. That's the good news. <laughs> it's sitting in front of a screen. It's it. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Okay, last comment briefly. It's not even a question. I see, but I don't see. I hear, but I don't hear at the same time. Yes, one could say so. There is no I. Hearing is happening, but nothing is heard. Seeing is happening, but nothing real is seen. Feeling is happening, but nothing real is felt. Because it's just itself already, automatically. Seeing, breathing, thinking, feeling, the rooms, the computers. It's just what apparently happens and it's empty and full at the same time or real and unreal. It somehow is happening, but not really. There is nothing in there 
There's nothing in seeing. There's nothing in hearing. It just is itself. And last, really last, all apparently happens without any center. Yes, absolutely. There is no center anywhere. Exactly. Thank you very much. There is no message. There's nothing to do, to not do, and all those things. What is, is just naturally whole and complete, exactly as it is. Breathing, seeing, thinking, and all the rest. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful day.